Hey, what's up everybody? Joseph Williams here at Jaws Fitness. Today we're going to be talking about muscle force production and how you can utilize this information to your advantage to make your training better. All the pain. So let's talk about how you can make this the most effective way for yourself. With concentric muscle production, uh, you know, coming this way, or running, or squatting, think of, think of anything that you can do um, using the muscle to shorten it. It's going to cost a lot of ATP, which is going to increase your blood pressure, which is going to increase your, I'm sorry, which is going to increase your heart rate, which is going to increase your blood pressure. So there's a lot of things that can go on with a lot of concentric movement. So it's something that you have to be wary of. If you are a um, elderly person or if you have some cardiovascular risk factors or even if you're obese. You know, if you're obese, you could have some cardiovascular risk factors. So you have to be careful with as, how much concentric that you are doing. Now, isometric movements. Obviously, they're not as metabolically costly because it's not using as much ATP. It's not going to increase your heart rate as much, but it still will increase it a little bit. Now, eccentric is about one third the cost of concentric. And because it's one third the cost, you're not increasing your heart rate, rate as much, and you're not using or you're not increasing your blood pressure as much. Therefore, it's a little safer if you have uh, one of those things that I just mentioned previously. Does that mean that you should do consent or eccentric all the time? Absolutely friggin' not, and I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, you have to have a blend. I'm not saying never do concentric movements. I'm saying that um, if you are experiencing something that is detrimental to your health, then you need to be careful on how much concentric that you actually do. So there are different ways that you can produce force through the muscles. There's the concentric, the isometric, and the eccentric. The concentric is the positive, the eccentric is the negative, the isometric is when you hold it in place. Uh, the concentric is going to be very costly. It's going to take a lot of energy to produce. Uh, it's going to take a lot of energy to be able to do uh, a lot of concentric movements. The isometric is not going to take as much as the concentric, but it will take about it will take more than eccentric. And the eccentric does not cost a lot of energy to your body. So if you're looking to lose fat, don't, I mean, eccentric's not gonna get you where you wanna be, I promise you that. But eccentric will break your muscles down harder. And it is less taxing on your heart. So if you have any kind of uh, cardiovascular risk factors, eccentric training should be incorporated a lot more than concentric. But don't do it every day, because if you do eccentric too much, you won't be able to recover because it constantly breaks down your muscles. All right guys, and finally, uh, the reason this is all important is because if you yourself have been sedentary or have some cardiovascular risk factors or if you're looking to train somebody that has been sedentary or does have some cardiovascular risk factors, you need to be careful on the programming for the training uh, for yourself, for your clients, potential clients, whatever, uh, so that way you're getting the best out of the workouts uh, by blending in the concentric with the eccentric, uh, making sure you're controlled on those descending movements, uh, making sure that um, you're not incorporating too many concentric movements. Now just for your everyday person, uh, it's not really something you have to stress about too much. It's one of those things like if you wanted uh, to increase your muscle mass, maybe you would incorporate a lot more eccentric training. Uh, but we're just talking about uh, for special populations uh, for right now. We'll, we'll get deeper into training for, for your own special sport or uh, your own particular needs later on. This is just uh, something to, to kind of help those out um, that are in the realm of uh, cardiovascular disease, obesity, diabetes, that sort of thing. Because, I don't know if you guys know this, but cardiovascular disease is actually the number one killer in the United States. So, if we're wanting to help cure this di disease or help those who have cardiovascular issues, then we need to focus on how we can better train them. And we'll talk more about that later on in another video, but this is just specifically related to resistance training. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. I love answering your questions. I respond to every single comment unless they're negative, and even then sometimes I still respond. 
uh, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, so, uh, share it with somebody who needs it. We all know somebody uh, who, could, who could probably use the help. Alright guys, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.